Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. This is Roy for Aquaviti.com, looking at pronunciation in Scotch whiskey. When you're getting to know Scotch, and even if you know Scotch quite well and you're a whiskey fan, you can often encounter problems with Scotch whiskey pronunciation. Some of the distilleries, brands and place names in Scotch are really, really difficult to work out how to pronounce just by trying to decipher the label. This is because they're derived mostly from Scots and Gaelic, with its different set of phonetic rules and pronunciation that not many people are familiar with. So, for English speakers, and even for me myself as a native Scot, this can prove tricky. So the best chance that we have to learn how to pronounce these distilleries, these brands and these terms, is to hear them pronounced, hopefully correctly, first. So, with this in mind, here we go, the top 30 most commonly mispronounced Scotch whisky terms. Aberlour and the fantastic whisky that they make, Aberlour Abuna. Anok. Anok is a range of whiskies produced at the Not Do distillery in the Scottish Highlands. Ochentoshin. Now, Ochentoshin is the first pronunciation where we're going to have that CH sound. And that CH sound in Scots, we would pr pronounce that with a H sound, so like Loch, Loch Lomond. Ochentoshin. But if you don't have that CH sound in your vocabulary, if you don't naturally use that day to day, it's very acceptable, and it's common even in Scotland, to harden this sound to a K sound. So Ochentoshin would become Ochentoshin, and it's absolutely fine. Balveni, or as they would have you pronounce it, the Balveni. But really, Balveni is fine just as long as it's not Balvini. Benromac, or Benromac. Bamoa. Now some people accent the second syllable, Bamoa, and other people do it on the first syllable, Bomoa. Either is acceptable. But if you go to the distillery, if you ask somebody at the distillery how they pronounce where they work, they would say Bamoa. Brookladdy. Now here we have the CH sound twice, so we've got the hard pronunciation, and then at the end we've got a much softer pronunciation, Brooklady, almost to the point that you don't hear it. And that's the tip how to pronounce this distillery. Harden the first CH and drop the second one, Brooklady. Bunahaven, the BH in Bunahaven is made to sound like a soft V, so it becomes Bunahaven. If you say Bunahaven, nobody's gonna notice. Kalila. Kalila. The call is almost like a K-U-L-L. -L. Kalila. Craig Elachy. Again, you can harden that CH and make it Craig Elachy. Dal Ewan. Fantastic Speyside distillery. Fantastic whiskey. Dal Ewan. Edradour. Now, some people add an extra syllable in here at the end and they say Edra Dower. That's a very Scottish thing. We add extra syllables. We take the word worm and make it worm. We take the word film and we say film. Well, some of us do anyway. That's what's happening here at Edra Dower. You can add the extra syllable or leave it as Edra Dower. Nobody cares. Glendronach or Glendronach. Glenfiddich or Glenfiddich. Here's a tricky one. The CH is here, but like the CH at the end of Brutladdich, this disappears. So it's Glengirich. So most people don't even pronounce the last CH, it's just dropped. And the most common way to pronounce this distillery is Glengiri. Just Glengiri. Glenlivet or the Glenlivet. As long as it's not Glenlevy, that would make it French. Glenmorangie. It's not Glenmorangie, it's Glenmorangie. Glenrothes. Glenrothes. Hey, 
So here we have the CH again, but this time we're just going to drop it. We're not going to try and harden it. We're just going to make it into an H to say Kilhoman. Lagavulin. One of the most magical whiskey spots in the world, Lagavulin. The peat punch that is Lefroig. Can be difficult to pronounce as well, Lefroig. Lechik. Lechik or Lechig. The distillery and the, the, the producers, Burn Stewart, would like you to pronounce this Lechig, but Lechik is fine. The crucial thing here is the D becomes a CH, and the G at the end can either be a G or a K sound. Lechik or Lechig. Oban. Oban. It's not Oban. Oban. Old Ballantruin. This is the peated single malt whiskey produced at Tom and Towel Distillery. Tom and Towel. Pulteney. Pulteney is the distillery where they make Old Pulteney single malt. Port Askig. Port Askig. Chevek. Chevek. I know it looks like tea bag. You're not going to get a dram if you order tea bag. This is Chevek. The BH is the same as the BH in Bunahaven, so you soften it to a V. The G is the same as Lechik, so it's a G sound or a K sound, but it's Chevek or Chevek. Chevek. Tullibarden. Tullibarden. And the last of our distilleries, Tomatin from the Highlands. You know, if you mess these pronunciations up, it's absolutely fine. It's very unlikely that you're going to find yourself in a situation that you'll be judged harshly for not knowing how to pronounce Scots Gaelic. But I think it's only polite to try and pronounce a person's given name properly. And I think the same goes for brands and distilleries and place names. And I think it's worth a little effort. If you found this video in any way useful, please hit the like button or consider subscribing to us and encouraging us to do more like this. Remember to head over to aquaviti.com and pick up the original blog post that this video supports. We've already got another Scotch whiskey pronunciation video on its way with some more terms, some more of the more obscure whiskies and distilleries. But in the meantime, spread the whiskey love and slant you.